the solution for this example using flash fill. So all you need to do is adjacent to it, you type what you want to see. So we've got the name, Alyssa, all in capital. You can highlight it. And then you can either go to data and click flash fill. And you'll see it seems to get it correct. Or in this case, again, type this. And the shortcut is control E and it achieves the same thing. So that's the first solution. The second one, so you'll see we've now split it, James C. Clark. So for the first one, I'm going to go to data flash full. And if you look at it, it seems to be correct. For the initial, I'm going to put a C in. Let's highlight it again. Flash full. So you'll see it seems to be getting it right. For the surname, we've got we've typed Clark. Let's highlight it. Flash full. If you look carefully, you'll see the second one is slightly confused. So what we need to do is type in there. So we're going to type what we want to see. Let's actually type it exactly the same way. And you'll see where we've got Fennedy and Jerump. When we give it a second example, you'll see it then corrects for it. Third example, we want to combine the salesperson code with a date. So we've typed in the, the way we want it, code dash date. Let's highlight it, data flash fill. Excel tells us it can't identify a pattern. So let's type a second one. So I'm going to match it here. And this one seems to be 07 September 2004. Let's now see if it works. Flash fill. And you'll see now it seems to work. Let's see if this one, we've now reversed it. So what we're saying is we want to see the date first, then the code. When I say flash fill, so in this case it's kind of got it right, but you can see it's dropped the year uh, and hasn't got the dash. Let's tell it what we expect to see. 07 September 2004 dash SP05. When we click enter, okay, so in that case it hasn't done it again. So we need to again advise it. So 30, 31st August. 204-SP06. And as you can see, in this case, it's just not getting it right. So you need to accept that flash fill is not perfect, and occasionally you're going to have to come up with another way. Let's just go to example four. So here, what we want to do is capture numbers. I'm just going to delete that. So for example, I can type a thousand. Highlight it all, go data, flash fill. You'll see it hasn't understood yet what to do. So I'm going to go to this one, go 0 0.526. And when I click enter, it now understands what is required. For example, 5, we want to pull the name out, and you'll see it's all lowercase. So let's highlight it, flash fill. And if you look closely, you'll see it's getting it right. And here, what's important is when you enter the bank account number, because we have to see the zero, we have to enter it with a little apostrophe there so that it's told it's text. And if that is the case, then the flash fill will work. And the last one, just type in the code of the first item, highlight it, and flash fill. And you'll see it correctly extracts between the two hashes. For these ones here, it's treated it as a number. So you'll just need to decide what to do about that. But it has extracted the correct details.